Hello friends, I'm Peanut Dream and welcome to Moonlighter. If you haven't heard of this game yet, then you are in for a treat because it updated just yesterday, the friends and foes update to be exact, which means that a bunch of stuff got added to the game, such as companions and a few mini bosses and a bunch of story related stuff. So let's just dive into it head first and let's have some fun because that's what I promised in my channel trailer. So, you know, maybe I should just keep my word and, you know, have fun. So, here we are. We are Will, a shopkeeper that gets his own wares from the dungeons by slaying monsters and that just sells those items for a huge profit. And this is just a tutorial to show the player how to play the game and everything and right now it's learning you how to uh, dodge or roll or whatever. And I'm bad at it because I, I just want to blast through this tutorial because it doesn't really interest me that much because I kind of know how to play this game. Uh, also, uh, this part isn't really that interesting because everything that I get out of these boxes will be gone at the end of the tutorial except for maybe the health potions. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to be getting from here, but let's just get all the health potions we can get, which is like two. I mean, maybe I should have used them, but you know, who who does smart things? Because I certainly don't. Come on. Thank you. Some branches and finds that I will be losing when the tutorial is over because oof, they are throwing everything they got at me. So yeah, I guess let's just die and... Whoa! That was a cool spawning animation. But yeah, let's die and go to town and start the game actually because nothing you do in this dungeon except for getting the potions is of any worth. Uh, actually, I am not going to be doing any voices because I am really, really bad at remembering voices. So, you know, I'd rather not do them right now instead of just forgetting them, if that makes any sense. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. And there's already a few wares in our shop, which is pretty neat if I do say so myself, even if they're priced a bit weirdly. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you are curious of the dungeons. Y y you can draw pretty greatly, pretty neatly, pretty good, though. That's how you say it, right? There is no doubt, you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pennant to get out of the dungeon. And for creator's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you deaf boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. 
Aha, I got that reference. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Thanks for your floating gear, Gramps. Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. I mean, sure, I mean, I'd rather go adventure, but if you want me to care for the shop, then I will. Let's open this bad boy up. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Cool. Hello customer, buy my stuff, pretty please. Thank you. Buy it, buy it. Yeah! Thank you. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Well, that one obviously is overpriced, but let's see the expression anyway. Wow, what a shock. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook, it should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Sir, sir, do I look like someone who is smart enough to do that? Because I can tell you, I'm not. I'm just going to sell stuff for a decent price and hope that it's good enough and just make money. Because, you know, I get them for free in the dungeon. The only price I'm paying is health. So, like, I, I'm making profit anyway. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It is in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more paradise at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Um, I'm sorry, but my name is Will. Please call me, Will. Thank you very much. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Okay, I will go and slay some monsters, get myself some stuff to sell. Ah, sure, Gramps. Column Dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Which is cool because I am both of them. Because I'm cool like that. Right, so let's check out the dungeon. Nothing here. Cool, cool. That's great. That's fantastic. Hey, come here. Let me beat you. Oh, I'm so slow. I, mm, I want to be faster. Uh, well, at least they weren't too hard to defeat. That's cool. Ooh, this one is going to be a little bit more tough. Ha ha ha. Can't hit me. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, it's going to be a bit more difficult with two of them, but let's see what I can do. Oh, hey. Well, I mean, that wasn't exactly as I had planned, but sure. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything on the bottom here, since I didn't see a sparkly thing. So let's move on to the next area. Hmm, some stuff that I can sell and a dead skeleton, which is always fun to find. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short, so I will write an entire diary entry. I took injury from the strange creature across the room, my pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though, 
I'd say I fart better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. All of which is this... Map? Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right? They called me crazy. Said old crazy Pete Dungan lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Rinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. They are more. Ooh. So, let's get that thing. Oh, this guy also wrote a diary entry. That's cool, that's cool. We're just writing diaries here, because that's fun. Big Boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them all out. Now have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, Big Boss gonna be upset with little me. So this is just a map that just shows that every dungeon has a key which you get by defeating the boss, which is just, you know, common gaming sense, I think. So, let's go ahead and use that medal and return, because we can't leave the room otherwise. Just, mmm, release it too early the first time. Escape with pendant. Nice. Didn't have to use any health potions either, which is pretty gosh darn good of me. Since I haven't played this game in a while and we are just as slow as a snail. Maybe even slower. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly? It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... You found old Pete? Dad... See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Rinoka. Nice indeed. Well, I guess it's not only my duty to restore the town, or the shop, but also the town. So that's cool, that's cool. Let's go ahead and see what's on here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the town investments first. Oh, right. I want this forge, but I don't have enough money right now, which is cool. Let's just go ahead and sell some stuff. Uh, let's get this one to... Let's see if they sell for 110, actually. And then, oh, let's just get this stuff in here. I don't think this sells for much, and I also think... I will need some of it in the future to um, craft stuff, but I'm not really very worried about that right now. I think these sell for like 150 if I remember correctly, which I actually don't really, but you know, let's just try out for how much they sell. Please buy my stuff, thank you. Hmm, I, I think these finds actually sell for less than which I put them here, but you know. Oh, uh, okay, these are too much. Yeah, it might just be 100. Let's just go with 120 and see how they do. Oh, okay, the stones are for too much. Uh, let's go with 10. Also, that thing was for a cool price, it seems like, so that's good. Okay, this is still too high. Uh, let's just go whoa, with 100. I think that might be fine. Oh, okay, yeah, that's too much. Yeah, let's just go with 5. That might be cool. 
Also, 100 is fine for these. That's good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's uh, also put in some branches for like five. And let's put one of these bad boys here. I think they sell... Let's just go with 200 and see if that's cool. I, I really don't care about, you know, the whole... Uh, demand stuff right now. I just want to make some money so I can upgrade my town, right? So, please, buy my stuff. Oh, too much? Okay, I will lower the price to... Hmm, to 160. Oh yeah, 10 is good for the branch. Okay, then I can sell 10 more for the same price. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, oh, hey, yeah, you, oh, you sold, okay, I'm going to make these a bit lower, and I think these ones needed to be lower, yeah. Oh, hey, the branch is still good, let's sell these two. Here we go. Cool, and then I can also sell the last few branches. Nice. Oh, it, it looks like the grass or vines aren't in demand anymore. But I have so many of them. Well, whatever, let's just keep them in place here. Also, I can now upgrade the town or at least get the weaponsmith, which is cool because that means I can finally go ahead and get my... Uh, my, my weapon of choice, which is actually the uh, fighting gloves, because like I can sing Sweet Caroline while battling with those, and then when the, the part after Sweet Caroline Bam 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 comes, then I can just hit enemies on the beat of the Bam Bam Bam, and that's just the, the kind of stuff that I really, really like in games. Uh, hey, yeah, thank you for buying that, even though the demand is low. Yeah, it's getting lower and lower, and that's fine. I haven't sold all my stuff yet, unfortunately. But now I can go and get that upgrade. Please tell me it doesn't have to be light for me to upgrade or invest. Yeah. Heck yeah. And then I can see what kind of materials I need to get my weapons. And also some armor, because oof, I probably really need to get that soon. Not yet, but soon. Very soon. Okay, let's see. Uh, where, where is it? Oh, here is it. Okay. Um... Okay, so add to wish list, and then it automatically uh, selects the items that I need, I think. Uh, I don't really remember which armor I preferred. I think it's actually this one. Hmm, it might also be this one. I'm not entirely sure. I, I, will, I will check which armor it is. So, now I can go and sleep, sell the rest of the stuff, and then head off to the dungeons again. Does that sound like a plan, or does that sound like a plan? So let's first give this a price that hopefully will be right. Probably not, but that's fine. Oh, hey, let's check this first. Oh, it's just that thing. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh... Well, what items did I need? Can I check it somewhere? Probably not. That's fine. Let's sleep. Great. Let's open up the shop again and sell the rest of our stuff and then we can head to the dungeons again. Please buy my stuff. 
Yeah, you, you can look out of the window as well, that's fine, but I'd rather just, you know, sell stuff. Oh, too... too expensive. Okay, let's just go with 120. Oh, that's too much. Okay, let's go with 120 and... Oh wait, I actually need these. So let's not sell them. Oh hey, he bought that. Oh, I thought I had these for 120. Now they are at least. Thank you. Please buy the rest of the stuff. Thanks. You, you know what? I'm just going to sell them for uh, 100 actually. And then it will probably be fine. Hopefully. And while I do that, I'm just going to place the rest of my stuff that I need for the armor in here. So I can... Yeah. I have that stored now. Cool. Here you go. Yeah, okay, last item and then we can close up the shop and go. Yes, we can go for some more adventures in the dungeon. But I think I'm going to do that in the next episode just so these don't get too long. So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and let's... Yeah, let, let's go ahead and discover all that there is to discover in this update for Moonlighter. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed and let's see each other again in the next video.